Another animal commonly seen in the classic nativity scene is the camel. Not just one or two, but three camels. Yung camels kasi, people believe that the three kings went to visit Jesus. Nakasakay sila sa camels, which was, I think, a common uh, beast of transport sa Middle East. Paano sa napunta sa mga Pasko? Because the three wise men, which normally journeyed to find Christ, actually would ride a camel. So the association between the three wise men and these camels was there. Kaya mapapansin mo ang camel, nakikita mo sa manger scene. Now, does the camel have some sort of symbolic meaning? A camel is symbolically the symbol of journey. Kasi nga, uh, among all the animals, mapapansin mo, ang camel lang ang kayang gumawa ng mga long-distance journeys. So, pag, pag pinag-aralan mo yan, ang mga camel, kasi siya may ba meron silang hump which stores water. So, they are very much known to, to be an animal that tries to, to be a symbol of that long journey. Camel is very, very important in Middle Eastern cultures. Kasi they share to sila, so walang, walang masyadong tubig. Yung camel kasi hindi naman kailangan palagi uminom ng tubig. So they can survive on very little water. Kaya sila yung ginagamit na parang kabayo dun. So importante yun sa kultura nila. So parang yun yung ginamit ng mga three kings papunta kay Jesus kasi medyo they share to yun, Middle East yun. Eh. So kailangan nila ng matibay na harap. Now, aside from the nativity scene, the image of the camel is also depicted on Christmas cards, posters, and decorations. Nakikita sila usually sa Belen. Doon sila nakikita yung mga camels. Yung three wise men, lalabas lang yan sa mga totoong mga manger after na ng ano, Christmas, yung epiphany kung tawagin nila. So, ano pa yan, way, way pa. After Christmas, December 25, lalabas lang sila yung during the epiphany.